All right, so today I went to a show uh, just outside of Hamilton, Ontario, the Steel Town Card Show. I like going to this one. It's not as crowded as some of the other shows. There's sometimes a few other shows happening on the same day in my area, so yeah. Uh, before I get to that, uh, a few pickups that I got this week came in the mail. I picked up this uh, Iserman rookie card, PSA 8. This was a Facebook uh, group purchase. I had a KSA 7.5, but I wanted to upgrade it, so I sold that and some other kind of miscellaneous cards to buy that one. I always try to find a way to make the hobby pay for itself. Basically, make these cards free or better. You can do it if you uh, put in the effort. So next pickup was, I decided to do a Gretzky run. I was going uh, PSA 8 or better for the 80s, except for this one is really expensive in an 8, so I got a 7. But this one's really nicely centered. I have a few more that I'm going to send in to get graded, and I'm just going to work my way through the 80s and... I think I'm just going to go up to the Oilers, to 87, 88. I don't love the 88, 89 cards, so we'll see. See if uh, one falls in my lap for the right price. So, yeah, that was another uh, Facebook purchase. So let's get on to the card show. It's funny you get to know these vendors, and I beelined it directly to a, a few to see what I could find. But let's uh, kind of see what I got. So this... First guy had a big stack of uh, tops cards. Actually, two stacks for twenty bucks. I bought, I bought them all. There's forty five cards here. A bunch of goalies. Uh, nothing crazy. Just some commons mostly. But I don't mind buying stuff in bulk if they're in good condition and the price is right. So that was decent. A few. Um, 78 79s here Wayne Cashman Stefan Pearson got the North Stars team not marked a couple 1980s Rick Middleton uh Thomas Gradine was a good player Bent Gustafson Steve Shutt got Mr. Gary Suter and Tony Herkich I think that's how you pronounce it Herkus maybe so that vendor had that stack, I think there was 45 like I said, and then he had this included for 20 bucks for all of it, so I scooped that up. It's funny, by the time I left this show, my pockets were stuffed, all these heavy things. Let's see, I don't even know what's in here, so let's just see. It looks like a lot of 78, 79s and 77, 78. So we have some all-star cards. Salming, Potvin, Clark Gilly, Steve Shutt, Terry O'Reilly, there's Phil. Yeah, these are nice, nice condition. Got a few leaders there, penalty minute cards. Nice mask there. Some doubles, which is fine by me, but Tiger Williams. There's the Tiger setting. I don't think I've ever had that one on the on the channel so far. Dave Burroughs with the hair. Ian Turnbull, yeah, cool that these are all Leafs. Always people wanting Leaf cards. Uh, we got some of these 77, 78s now. I'll always like this one, this goalie card, Ed Stanowski. Kurt Ridley with another cool mask there. Some more Leafs. Gary Unger, Bob Bourne, yeah, these are in really nice shape. There's Terry O'Reilly. See, so yeah, I'd say I got close to 100 cards total here maybe 90 for 20 bucks that's perfect i'll definitely move those and try to find something else okay so let's see i'll do this by vendor what else do i have okay this guy had dollar bin and i got this uh gypsy queen Corey seager there's a few modern cards but mostly vintage here uh, Corey seager rookie card for a buck. Uh, Nolan Arenado rookie card for a buck. I was pretty happy with that one. 
And this was not a dollar, but the same vendor had a stack. And this Hank Aaron was super sharp. I almost thought it was trim, but it's not, I don't think. 67 Hank, I think I paid 60 bucks for the three cards. It's funny, this one has a, he has a shadow on his face. I thought it was a crease, but it's just the way it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to send that one in. Um, what else? Uh, this guy, this dealer was kind of interesting. He had a bunch of uh, super cheap cards. This uh, 73 Carlton Fisk was a doll. Actually, it was free. He gave me it for free because <coughs> I bought this. Some random, uh, this grading company pops up a lot. In the, these local shows in my area, I think it's a, uh, I think it's like a forensic grading where it's done with computers. So it's got the subgrades on the back. It's funny, it's nine 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 nine, but the centering's obviously way off on the back. But on the front, it does look. I would go PSA eight quality for this, but still, really, really nice card. Anyway. I wasn't looking for a haul, but I saw it in his uh, display case, and I asked him how much, and he said 30 bucks. I'm like, sold. All right, so let's see. Next vendor. This is the one I actually went to in the very beginning. Yeah. He had some awesome stuff last time, so I went straight there this time. Uh, just... Nothing crazy, this Bobby Orr. I never saw this version of these. This is when he scores that, uh, I think this is that goal. When he goes flying, maybe? Yeah, you can see the the stick on his foot. He's about to go in the air. So that's pretty cool. That was, uh, this stack that I have here, there's five cards, was $20 for all of them. A really nice uh, Tim Horton. I really love the 72. 73 OPG uh, Sabres cards. They look awesome with the colors. Yeah, this one's really sharp. Uh, Bobby Hull, 79.80. Not sure if this one's nicer than the one I have in my PC. And two more Brett Hall rookies. These are the tops. So this whole pile here, these five cards, were 20 bucks. I'm telling you, man, go to shows, uh, just get a pile of cards, ask them what they can do. They always give you a deal, man. There's no tax. All right, let's get to the last purchase. I got a nice PC purchase here. This guy had a bin of cards that were no, not priced, and I started picking out a few, and he said they're 10 bucks each, every card that wasn't marked, so... Pretty nice Trache rookie. It's a lower grade card, but it has amazing eye appeal. It's got some like kind of issues on the back, but that's a really sharp Trache rookie for what it is. And then this it has a crease on the top there, but this is really nice. Otherwise, in the course, it's not marked. So 10 bucks for that. And then he had this guy sitting there. It has a little stain on the top, but this is a really nice card otherwise. Definitely it would be near mint plus if it wasn't for that. Uh, near mint anyway, if it wasn't for that stupid stain. But that was uh, 40 bucks. And then I, this is what got me at the guy's table. Been looking for a Patrick Waugh. I wanted a PSA 8, but saw this sitting there. It was 240 bucks. I just I paid full price. I'm like, that's a great price for a PSA 7 PC card there for me. I think that's the last big 80s card, 70s and 80s really, that I needed as far as rookies go. I don't really have a whole lot left on my want list, but that was one of them. So, yeah, pretty happy to have that. Um, <clears throat> another successful show, uh, no more shows until the Toronto show was coming. I booked a day off work, I had an extra holiday. So I booked the Friday I'm going to go. Uh, I looked at my PSA stuff 
I think my last order is done. It's coming back this week. I've got a couple submissions coming up too. I'm going to send one in for modern cards and another vintage one for the show maybe. Yeah, lots of cool stuff coming up. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more vintage type content.